Hey, welcome back. Let's do a little cooking here. What do you say for Super Bowl Sunday coming up? I wanted to make some appetizers, different twists on a couple of things that you may have tried. I'm doing Greek nachos today. I'll show you what that is in a second, but also these shrimp and avocado lettuce cups. I wanted to do something with avocados besides guacamole. Um, we've got a fantastic guacamole recipe uh, that is online right now, but I'm starting off with uh, a pound of cooked shrimp and three ripe avocados that I've diced up. I'm gonna put a few more avocados uh, in there. That's the base of this mixture. Shrimp and avocado basically is what it is. And then into this is going to go some diced up tomatoes. Give it some nice flavor. Some green onions. Some red onions. And depending on how spicy you like it, this is a diced serrano and jalapeno peppers. I took the seeds out and I took the veins out. That's where all the heat lives. But uh, if you do all of that and chop it up, you'll still get a little bit of heat, but it's not gonna blow the top of your head off. But really you just wanna mix all of this around. Look how good this looks already. Into this is going to go a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of seasoned rice vinegar. This is a very mild vinegar. Uh, some salt and some pepper will go in. And also adobo seasoning. This gives it a extra special exotic flavor. And then squeeze in the juice of uh, a couple of limes. This gives it a nice citrusy flavor. Now, because you want the lime to kind of soak in with all of this, after you do all of this and mix it up carefully, what you're gonna do is just let it sit for about an hour to let all of these flavors just completely meld together. And that's what I did about, about an hour ago. And this is what I wound up with. Got my nice shrimp and avocado. I'm gonna mix this in with that. And then the way I wanna serve this are in these uh, cups of Boston lettuce. They're like little cups. So that just goes right inside there. And I know it goes against the grain for Super Bowl Sunday, but it's a healthy appetizer, actually. So there you go with, uh, you know, one of our appetizers for today. The other is are these Greek nachos, which is basically a deconstructed gyros sandwich. I start off with these pita chips. You can use pita bread if you want to. And onto that, I'm gonna throw a little mozzarella cheese. Just like you would with regular nachos. You want these to be all good and nice and cheesy. I'm gonna throw some feta cheese, of course, onto this as well. And then this, the way that this is right now, normally would just go right into an oven, 450 degrees for about 10 minutes, so it really, really melts up. And then once it does, then you put the other ingredients on it. All the things that you would put on a gyro sandwich, some nice cucumber, some tomatoes. Put some onions on there, just like a you know, sandwich. I'm gonna put some Greek olives. These are ca sliced Kalamata olives. Spread all those guys around there. And uh, some lettuce. Just throw a little bit of lettuce on there. And the final touch, gyros meat that you can get in your freezer section. You can go to the store and buy some nice gyro meat. And it's just layer after layer after layer. All of this would be all set. I already made one of these and baked it up already. So the final thing that you want to do is take some nice tzatziki sauce and drizzle that all over, just like you would a regular gyros sandwich. I'm telling you what, this is delicious. Got the crunchy pita chips underneath and all the vegetables. We've got the recipes up for you. When you scan the QR code, you can get it. Or you can go to wgntv.com slash steamcooks. We'll automatically send you the recipes every week if you text the word cooks to 97999. Have a great Super Bowl Sunday of eating. We'll be back after the break.